We report on crimes involving drug addiction. And tonight on the Eastern Shore, they were celebrating people who have overcome their addiction and the ones also who helped them on that road to recovery. Fox and News Lee Peck on that story for us tonight. Lee, Baldwin County Drug Court now in its 16th year. We have Byron Lanise. It's one of those thinking outside the box proposals that has evolved over the years. The program, a minimum of two years for drug offenders, shows what can be done by not putting people behind bars, instead giving them a chance and the resources to get their lives back on track. The road to overcoming addiction has a lot of stops. Somebody who's an addict, they will not be able to get clean and sober by themselves. They're going to have to have help. And that's that's who we are. In 2007, District Attorney Bob Wilters was then Judge Wilters and helped launch Baldwin Drug Court. I mean, when I was first uh, serving as a judge, I thought fear would be enough to, to change somebody. And that's, that's not right. I put the same people in prison or jail or prison, you know, three times. And it's like, wait a minute. Well, we got to do something different here. It is without a doubt the most rewarding thing that I've done as a judge. And it's, it's, it's a great feeling. Tonight's featured speaker, actor Danny Trejo, sharing his battle with addiction and how he's remained sober for 55 years. Repertoire of folks that, that are there to help me uh, try and help others. For the last eight years, Judge Scott Taylor has been at the helm of Baldwin Drug Court and says while the drugs and treatment may have changed, the end result has not. Usually when folks come into the program, they're mistrustful of others. Um, they don't feel good about their themselves. They don't feel good about the situation they're in. And by the time they leave us, they're in a better position to deal with the difficulties that come with life. So that's, I would say, it's the biggest change is how they view themselves and, and their circumstances. In the last 16 years, they've managed to help more than 800 people navigate their road to recovery. It can be done. I mean, especially for an individual like me that struggled with addiction for many, many years and I was homeless. And Marshall Metz completed the program in 2019. Since then, he's become a licensed recovery support specialist and is now a drug court team member sharing his testimony to help others. Lived experience is, is like no other. Uh, being able to sit down with an individual and say, hey, I know how you feel. I've been where you've been. I, all I really got to say is thank God for programs like Drug Court because it helped save my life. And it takes a community, a team of partners to make Baldwin County Drug Court work. Two of those partners honored tonight for their contributions, Baldwin County Sheriff Halsmack and Baldwin Court Services. Live tonight in studio, Lee Peck, Fox 2 News.